Hello students, here we are going to learn about configuration management. So the configuration management uh, can be categorized into three parts. First is uh, managing the equipment in the network. Second, managing the connection in the network and third managing the adoption of client signal into ol means optical layer so start with the first equipment management so the principle of managing optical networking equipment are not different from those of the managing other high speed networking equipments so we must able to keep the track of the actual equipment in the system for example uh, numbers and the location of the uh, optical line amplifier or optical amplifier as well as equipment in the each network element or its capability now uh, also in terminal of the point to point wm uh, wdm system so we can uh, keep the track of the maximum number of wavelength and the number of wavelength currently equipped so to failure of one channel should not affect the other channel so in this case of failed channel should be capable of being serviced without affecting the other channel so if one element in array fails uh, the entire array will have to be uh, replaced so this reduce the system availability or uh, replacing the array will involve the disturbing the operations of the multiple operation or the multiple channel operation and not just a single channel so using array also increase the rip increase the replacements cost for the uh, module so therefore there is always a trade-off between the obtaining the reduced cost and footprint on one front against system availability and the replacements cost on the other end so next is a connection management so the optical network provide a light path or more generally the uh, circuit switch connections to its user so connection management deals with the setting up connection uh, keeping a track of them or taking them down when they are not needed any more or they are not required the particular uh, applications or the particular time for the connections so the traditional telecommunication system way of providing this function uh, is through the centralized management system uh, rather than set a uh, particular the individual system so the process uh, usually involves for the different configurations equipment uh, from variety of vendors each with its own management system and usually one network element at a time so service provider in many cases deploy uh, equipment uh, only uh, consider for that the when they need it particular when they required and then net result of this process uh, is that can be take uh, months for the service provider to turn up and for the new connections according to the response of the user request so optical networks involve uh, connections are getting more dynamic Net and networks are becoming bigger and more complex so service provider would like to provide connections to their customers rapidly ideally in the second to mean that they not impose long-term holding time commitment on this type of connection so some of the connection management to start with the first topology management so each node in the network uh, maintain a database in the case of topology management or network topology so the current set of uh, resources availability as well as the resources used to support the traffic so in the event of any changes in the network uh, they provide this kind of uh, all the networks node so second is link management so the link can be accomplished with the periodic uh, uh, continuous echo packet or something like the hello word uh, or continue to check the message so the performance of the link can be monitored by keeping a statistics on packet losses or uh, and ber uh, beat error rates so if the performance grade below an acceptable threshold level so a failure indication signal can be sent to the other end of the link so they provide by the 
a link management next is a root uh, computation so when a connection is requested uh, from the network and the network needs to be find a route and obtain uh, resources along the route to support this connection so this can be done by applying a routing algorithm on the topology databases of the particular network so the routing algorithm should take into account the various constraints imposed by the network and such as the wavelength conversion ability and the capacity available on the each link of the particular network next is a singling uh, protocol so signaling protocol uh, once a route are computed in the root, uh, root computations so the connection needs to be set up uh, this process involve uh, reserving the resources required for the connection and setting the actual switches inside the network to set up the particular connection so the, this process requires not to exchange uh, messages with the other node and last one is a signaling network so this in case of after the signaling protocol will define then not need to signal in a channel to exchange the control informations with the other node so third is adoption management so adoption management is a function of taking the client signals and converting them uh, to a form that can be uh, used inside the optical layer so uh, the converting a signal into the appropriate wavelength uh, optical power level and other optical parameter associated with the optical layer so this is done through the use of transporters uh, which can convert signal to electrical form and retransmit uh, the signal using a wdm specific laser so adding and removing appropriate form and retransmit the uh, particular uh, uh, signals so that the overhead to enable the signal to be managed inside the optical layer and the client signal to make sure that the client signal stays within a boundaries that have been uh, agreed upon the part of the service management so the wdm network must support different types of interface a uh, complicant uh, sorry compliant wavelength interface so the one interface uh, might be allow uh, the client to send in the light at a wavelength uh, that is supported in the network or in this case uh, the user would be expected to uh, comply with the variety of criteria set by the particular network so next is a non compliant uh, wavelength interface so in this case the most common interface and encompasses a variety of different type of attached client equipment that use optical transmitter and or receiver not compatible with the signals used inside the wdm network and third is a subrate multiplexing so additional adaptation function uh, include uh, tdm means time division multiplexing of a lower speed stream into a higher speed stream uh, within the wdm equipment prior to the transmissions uh, so in this uh, adoption management 